guys, Ed Walters here, and I've got a quick drill uh, which is going to help your arms and club fall in the best way for you to stop slicing the ball in a downswing. So, one thing that we see a lot of <clears throat> in the range, and you probably see a lot of it when you're out playing as well with friends, is you know getting into a position at the top of the bank swing and the golf club coming over this way. So the shaft getting very, very steep, very vertical and then travelling down across to the left. The old chicken wing will probably pop in and we get that left to right shot every now and again. We might get a square club face so we'll hit it straight off to the left. So with this drill, what this is going to encourage is the feeling that the arms and the club fall down behind the body. Because if we can get the arms and the club to fall down this way, then as the rotation is kicking in and coming round toward the target, the club's going to be travelling nicely to the inside so we're going to have that nice in to square to in or even a little bit in to out direction so we can promote a nice straight or draw shot and get away from hitting those slices. So the key with this drill is literally just to get the club and drop it. So we want to get to the top of the backswing and as we start the downswing we just want to feel the club fall and swing the arms through. So the one thing that you'll notice when the club falls is how it falls this way. Doesn't fall that way, doesn't go that way, just falls nice and horizontal. So we've got to get used to getting to the top of the backswing, just letting it fall and swinging the arms through. Now the arms you'll notice then fall down by my side and then continue to move around. So if we can get this feeling when it comes to hitting the shots, and getting the, the club to travel into the golf ball in this manner, then it's going to be really, really crucial. It's a drill that works really, really well. Um, I've tried it with some, uh, some clients recently as well, and it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. Sometimes the club travels off in different directions. Um, you'll probably notice sometimes that as you drop it, it might catch you on the back or on the bottom of the back or the shoulders you go through with your arms. But as long as we get the feeling that the club's dropping this way and the arms drop that way as well, and then translate that into the golf swing itself, you're going to find that your delivery of the golf club is much, much better. You're your impact will be better and you will stop slicing the golf ball. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, as always, give it a thumbs up, share it amongst your friends as well. Leave me some comments. Let me know if and when you try this drill, how it works for you, how you find it initially and, and how you find that the arms of the club then travel in towards the golf ball. Really interested to know. Guys, as always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, the description is in the link below there. You can follow me on social networks. Again, the descriptions are down there below and I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.